What will be the factors that drive the future of agricultural innovation? In this short presentation, we will look at some of the factors and how they impact the production of agricultural crops and commodities and the future directions which are suggested. The production of crops using conventional agriculture faces many challenges. These include the limits to the amount of arable land available on the planet, as well as other resources such as water, the cost of input, especially with relation to the phosphatic fertilizers and the chemical inputs which go into conventional agriculture, the logistics of transport which have been evident during the current pandemic when the decline in the amount of manpower led to a loss or the breakup of supply chains. Then we have geopolitics, uh, which we are all experiencing now as wars have driven up the cost of food due to transportation and limitations at the we also have limits to productivity because there's only so much you can produce with regard to a specific crop. So what are the possible solutions which are being proposed currently? The solution of course is smart farming, but smart farming has a limitation because it is still conducted in an open environment. So the crops are still subjected to the inclement weather as well as changes in the weather patterns based on the current trends in global warming and climate change. The second possible solution which is being adopted currently on a large scale is the vertical farming and smart farming technologies. These are good technologies. However, they have limitations with regard to the cost of production as well as the fact that a major part of the plant which is grown in these systems is basically a waste material that cannot be consumed. This does not apply to leaf base crops, leafy crops such as lettuce, but it applies to other crops such as tomato and we cannot grow certain crops such as wheat and other cereal crops in this kind of system. So what are the possible solutions that are possible in the future? The first one is single cells. We all know algae such as spirulina are being utilized for food. So we can grow spirulina and you can consume it as a food. However, this may not be palatable and it may require a cultural shift with regard to the consumption of food as a single cell protein. There are multiple single cells which can be grown and cultivated for the purpose of food. And this is where genetic engineering comes in. For instance, if you could produce a cell, a single cell, with a flavor of a tomato or a carrot, it would be more palatable and more socially acceptable. Now this changes the way we grow crops because we share crops in the field to an industrial scale of production. Now, the advantage of these kind of systems is that they are no longer limited by weather patterns and climate change. The entire process can be scaled up, industrialized, and it is also quantifiable in terms of the input and output. And just imagine a which will solve food security problems. You will no longer have to rely on supply chains and logistics to ship food across borders. A localized facility can produce single cells just with the basic inputs such as the mineral uh, NPK and you have sunlight. And this will obviously lead to changes in the way we look at food and there will be no more famines because any country in the world can adopt this kind of technologies, grow food locally, scale it up with basic inputs, which are the mineral elements required for fertilizer. So this will change geopolitics as well. And it may be one of the reasons why countries are not adopting this because once you adopt these kinds of technologies, there will obviously be a change in the entire geopolitical scenario with regard to agriculture. So genetic engineering will be the future of agriculture. This is one thing which we have to accept because genetic engineering will facilitate the development of single cells with specific biochemical pathways that can be utilized for the production of crops that are palatable and socially acceptable. Thank you.